Ice Cube is not happy with the new sign. Cinema uh, turn up the script of the last Friday. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Say Cube said the production company took too long to green light the project before John Weatherspoon's passing. He went on to say on Twitter. Somebody asked Ice Cube, are you still getting fried or, or that canceled now because of John Weatherspoon passed away? Back to the drawing board, his new Arsenal was slow green line the last Friday script that was full of Mr. Jones. Bang, bang, bang. A.K.A. John Weatherspoon. I've been pissed off about it since Spoon passed away. I'm talking about Pops. John Weatherspoon. TMZ reporter recently asked Cube if he considered using CGI, CGI to reprise uh, Weatherspoon's role. Pop, bang, bang, bang. Cube immediately dismissed the idea, reiterating that any plans for a sequel were up to New Line. Uh, so long story short, man, we don't own nothing as black people. It's, that's illegal, all right? Um, if they let us own something, it'd be like the weather of the channel, like Byron and Allen. It'd be like, um, it'd be like Reebok with Master P and Baron Davis because something that doesn't have value. And then once he built it, well, it's, even we start off from the beginning, we start some. We build it from the ground up. They can take it, you know, some scam, or whatever. You know, if it was if if uh, Jeff Bezos was Devonte Basil or Devonte Williams, they he wouldn't have been able to keep that company. You know, he would end up it eh, end up somewhere else. So we can't own nothing. So that's the first thing we need to talk about ownership. Ownership is purely illegal for Black people to own anything. We can never own a Walmart, a Rite Aid, a Walgreens, whatever it may be. You know, there's very, very few black-owned grocery stores around America. So, people got to understand. You know, I remember the kid from um, from Power. I don't watch this trash. But the kid from Power was saying that, um, you know, oh, when, Versus, when Swiss Beast and uh, Timberland sold Versus, we can't have her had nothing. It's true. They had no choice. You'd have heard Swiss Beast did this and Timberland did that. They they was running a, a prostitution ring. You would have heard something like that, man. So, it is illegal. It's not even frowned upon. It's purely illegal for us to have anything. To own anything. Once we own it, we got to give it up or he going to take it or we going to, uh. Look at World Star. Old boy died. Come on. So that's just what it is. So y'all can't get mad at Cube um, at all. I'm not mad at Cube because I understand the game. Okay. Um, and, you know, they they just wasn't high on a priority list. And you can pull up Friday and um, let's just talk about what movies, New Line Cinema movies. 2019, right? Pull up that. I want to prove a point. So, Annabelle comes home. All right, that's three. Annabelle three. Um, I'm trying to see. So the budget for the movie was twenty seven thirty two million. The box office brought in over two hundred thirty one million. Okay. Okay. Um. So I want to prove a point. So let's go on. Um. Good liar. The good liar. Okay. Let's see what box office it brought in. It brought in. Uh, it didn't do well. It was on the seven over seventeen million dollar budget. It was a thirty three point four million dollar. Um, what it brought in box office, and it was released November. So, I want to see something that's a little bit. Let's take. Sh sh I mean, let's take Shazam. Okay, let's see what Shazam did. It did three hundred sixty six million dollar million at the at the. Uh, at the box office. It was just a great movie too. So Shaft. Shaft uh 2019. It only bought in 21.4 million dollars. Okay, let's see what the budget was. The budget was 30 to 35 million dollars. They lost money, which they didn't do a great job promoting that movie. Okay, you get the gist. So let's look at next Friday. Let's look at Friday. Which Friday didn't do well at the box office simply because it was just it just got so great after it got it only brought in twenty seven million dollars on the thirty five three point five million budget so it they made more than seven times what it was. Uh, let's do next Friday. It did sixty million dollars on eleven million dollar budget, so that's almost five times. You know, and it says. 
really it said less than 10 million, so it had two different budgets. So, I mean, you go to Friday after next in 2002. Remember, also, inflation is also in there. Most of these was post the um, the recession. It only brought in 33.5, you know. Let's see what the budget was. Which they always good. They don't promote our movies like that. And also, they don't believe black people support movies. Neither. Only $10 million budget. Okay, so... Still turn so they don't they don't they don't really believe in putting money into Friday. They don't believe in putting money into into black films. And what they say is, you know, put that money into the black films. Black people are not gonna see it. They're not gonna support it. But for Friday had a believe had a great after box office budget. We're just buying the movie. But like I said before, they don't put money. They don't put money into into their movies. They don't put promotion into our movies. Most of the movies they say is good. They be saying, oh, it's great, but it sucks. You know, but um, so they put. But then again, that's what make Friday great. It's a low budget movie, but great acting. And then also, Chris Tucker. That was his first big break, and then he he didn't want to help. He didn't want to help uh, Ice Cube. So he was beyond that and stuff. And that's and that's the label. That's the that's pretty much what black people are about, bro. You help a nigga out, you help a brother out. Why right, you? I'm gonna help this brother out. I'm going to break them. You break them, they act like they don't even know you. What? Q? Q, that's you. Oh, man, what's up, man? Uh, long time no see. And that's how it is. That's exactly how it is, bro. <laughs> that's exactly how it is. That's why I just don't really believe in going on my way to financially or help niggas. Because Q put him on the platform and then he didn't want to come back and do a cameo, show his face. He said, we beyond that. We we beyond that. And that's and that's sad, man. That's just where we at as people, man. We don't we ain't looked at like I'm gonna give you a helping hand, brother. I'm gonna help you out. Nope. Nope at all. You know, but I you know, he said I wasn't coming back, I wasn't even doing no cameo. This is why we as people don't get nowhere. But if I had to give our cube some advice. Um, and that was his first main role because he played on uh, Hanging with Winter Cooper, The Meteor Man. They said he was uncredited in that. House Party Three. What was he in House Party Three? I think I don't even remember him. He was in the Heavy D Number Love video short fan film, The Bodyguard Panther, and then that was his first big break. You know he ain't gonna do no uh. That's why I just say, man, I just stay away, man, because ain't no such thing as black camaraderie. It's just none. But if I was cute, man, if I had to give him some advice, to be honest, uh, my advice to Q would be just write something else. You know, I'll call that motherfucker for Saturday. You know, let's do something else. Let's create our own new Friday. You got a lot of young, great comedians. You know, you and Master P put your heads together. You do the movie. Maybe P give you a little hand in the movie. P show you how to distribute it. You know, let's start our own Netflix, you know, until they take it, let's rock it, bro. You know how they did, uh, Ciroc, motherfuckers think Diddy owns Ciroc, but some people in France own it, how they did, uh, uh, what you call that shit, uh, the house app, what's it called, where everybody go in there and talk, um, playing hot, playing, what's that, um, they, they thought, uh, Kevin, Kevin Hart owned it, then somebody else owned it that's not black, so, I'm cute, let's write, let's write another script, let's write another script, let's do something else. You know, we could remix Saturday Night Live, you know, whatever, whatever it was with Bill Cosby. And we could do something different, man. Um, and QP is great enough to do something different. You know, let's do All About the Benjamins, too, or some shit. Like, we can move on, man. But I uh, appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think that we just had a point where we can, uh, with QP, pin something else, you know, and something totally different. You know, I mean, I, you know, personally, um... See, Cube can give a Grand Theft Auto, you know, call Grand Theft Auto and do a movie with them, or just do something like Grand Theft Auto, call it something else. I mean, it's just so many different endless possibilities, you know. So hopefully, he thinks of something better than I. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm on LinkedIn. Reach out anytime. You got a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, want to advertise your video on the, on the 
advertise your business on the channel, hit me up. Wanna make a financial donation? Cash app CJ313 in the description. PayPal link to as well too. Best with the donation, share the video. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. We gonna peace.